Hey Fly Tires, welcome back. Now I've got a really quick tool review for you today. This one is the Stanfo razor holder. Now, if any of you out there spend a lot of deer hair, you know how challenging it can be. Now, honestly, I do not make a lot of deer hair flies, partly because they're just so hard. I mean, this is how I do them. I've got a, a single, single edge razor blade, this and scissors. That's how I've always done it. But I just picked up this thing. This thing, is gonna make you know shaping deer hair bodies really easy. Talk about this tool real quick. It's really solid. It's got some good heft to it, and it is adjustable. You've got a, a, a spinning barrel right here. If you wanna put your blade in flat, you can do it like that. And then if you want to bend a, put a curve on it, you can really tighten this up and get quite a curvature right there for shaping your deer hair. So let me just show you this in action. And keep in mind, I'm not real good at shaping deer hair bodies. So there's an example. That's one I call a, a speck. This one is kind of a blue speck. Here's one I call the black speck. It's just got some black deer hair for a stripe in the middle. So there's one in the vise. If you spin a lot of deer hair, you'll recognize this big mess. Now, let's show you this thing in action. It does not take much, much pressure. I'm just gonna slowly go across, try to keep it sort of parallel to the hook, and then just work my way around and forward to back. So you'll wanna take your time on this, it's one of the reasons I don't tie a lot of these. They take forever. And you can always take off more. You can't put it back on after you've cut it. So just take your time and trim in this. So a muddler minnow, this tool would make quick work of that. A bomber type fly or a deer fly, it takes a little bit longer because you've got to trim all these in the back too. So there you go, you can see the start of what I call my blue speck. I'd spend a little bit more time just trying to pretty this up, maybe round some of these, these edges off. So as you can tell, despite my tying abilities there in that demo you just saw, uh, this thing will really make shaping deer hair bodies so much easier. Now it's a bit pricey, this thing is $27. Now, what I'm gonna do here, and I just thought of this about five minutes ago, but I did pick up two of these. I picked up an extra one. I'm gonna give this away to one of the subscribers. I'm not gonna make it a drawing or anything like that. So the first one of you out there who sends me a picture of a deer hair fly that you've tied, hey, I'll send this to you. So click the link in the description. It'll take you to my website and show you my email address of where to send it. That's it, not a big deal, but uh, somebody out there will enjoy this. Take care. We'll see you next time.